Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Tone King Iron Man 2 and this is a very unique attenuator that um, is very flexible and has a lot of options. So I'm running my 74 Marshall head, 100 watts, into the Iron Man 2 and out into a 212 cabinet. And I'm running full blast as you guys heard in the intro, there's plenty of gain even from the Strat. We'll plug in some humbuckers in a second, but I'm able to crank this Marshall up all the way and have reasonable levels. So we have the dial here that's our main centerpiece on the Iron Man 2 and we basically have three layers of different attenuations. So solo is the outer ring. We can do zero which is in bypass when our solo is on and uh, we go to minus 4, 8, minus 12, minus 22, minus 32 and the second ring is high. So when we have this range in high and the solo is off we are on the second ring here in the middle so we have minus 3 dB, 7, 11, 15, 25, and 35. And when we go in the low range, we're going into minus 6, 10, 14, 18, 28, and 38. So that's the most. Um, we can use this attenuator as a dummy load. And uh, if we're running um, direct out, which this has actually. Um, so still looking at the front here, we got the presence. We can kind of tame some of that top end uh, that some amps can have. It's really nice. I've left it at 0 dB here. And so our selections here are the solo and the low and the high range. So what we actually get also is a foot switch so we can toggle remotely between the solo outer ring and either the low or the high range, whatever we want to set it to. So we can kind of have sort of a remote boost. So it goes up to about 3 dB of boost um, or even more. So looking in the back of this uh, attenuator, we have actually two separate transformers in this uh, attenuator and it's a reactive load. It um, reacts um, kind of like a speaker does. Um, resistive load is just kind of a flat response and an amp um, based on different frequencies has different impedances. So basically takes your sound as if it's going full on through a speaker and just lowers it. And we might not get as much compression from the actual speaker itself because it's lower volume but we're getting all the same characteristics of an amp pushing all that signal out but we're just holding that back just basically turning that volume down without messing with the tone and uh, we can plug into actually different impedance speakers than the amplifier and uh, we have to understand if we're actually in bypass mode which is zero and the solo is on this is bypass mode. We don't want to go into the bypass mode if our amp impedance doesn't match the speaker impedance. We never want to go on the zero here in the solo on. We want to be solo off and in the high position. That way we um, can mismatch speakers and the two transformers will adjust to whatever impedance our speaker and whatever our amp is set to. So amp has to correspond to the dial of the uh, impedance knob here. So my Marshall, I'm tapping out of 8 ohms here and I'm selecting 8 ohms on the input impedance. And on the speaker, I do have an 8 ohm speaker so I'm just going to set it to 8 ohm but if it was a 16 ohm or a 4 ohm, you can do that as well which is really nice. So it's one of the few attenuators that can do that. So you can basically take like a little 112 Vox speaker or something and attenuate it to where and match the impedance and you can run like a hot marshal right into a little speaker and not blow it up. So this is really cool. I'm really excited to do a lot of recording stuff um, with like a marshal going through like a little Celestion G12 uh, speaker and uh, Allen local speaker and kind of get marshal tones through that. Um, so also we have a section here for line out and we can kind of send it to effects and create like a parallel uh, sort of wet dry wet um, system and then we have the DI section which is speaker emulated so uh, which is nice you can just record directly and we have a level a selector minus 10 minus 30 and we have a cone or edge it's kind of changes the top end response of the emulation speaker emulation so we get a brighter or a little duller sound and we have a ground lift very versatile box it sounds great i'm able to crank the marsh all the way to 10 and not be able to blow up the speakers and this attenuator runs on 12 volt dc and, and it comes with an adapter that we can just plug right in all right so let's check it out a little bit more so i'm gonna attenuate a little bit and we're gonna 
turn up the Marshall and hear how it progresses with the volume. So let's check that out. So now we've plugged in into the direct out. I went into minus 38 here on the Iron Man 2, unplugged my speaker. So now we're using this as just a dummy load and we're using the direct out going into uh, Logic. So uh, let's check out the tones and I'm gonna toggle the axis switch. Right now it's set on cone and we're gonna go over to the edge and hear what that does to the tone and then we'll do a little bit of the presence attenuation and crank up the Marshall a little bit.